All right, so here we are going to be showing some of the principles on voltage drop. As you can see over here, we have our voltmeter reading hooked up to our N2 neuron. So as we connect there, we zero out pretty well. Uh, first off, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take your, your power source uh, voltage here. In this case, we can see it's, it's 3.2 volts. Now, the thing about doing a voltage drop is you actually need current to be flowing through the circuit. So we're gonna make actually a good circuit first, do the voltage drop test, and then we will do the, uh, we will actually add in the resistance there. And I wanna turn off the phone here, hold on a moment. Awesome. Okay, so right now, the circuit is on and we have our light bulb going. So as you can see here, once we take our voltage reading at the source, we get 2.99 volts. Now you want to take the power feed reading and go ahead and go there. And looking at the voltage, we are at 11 millivolts, which is completely okay. And then on the ground side, we are at Let's see here. On the ground side, we are at 56 millivolts, which is pretty darn good. Now across the load itself, we should actually see the addition. Yeah, so here we go. So you stably hit there, 2.91 volts, which is perfect with the 56 and the 11. That adds us up to the original battery source voltage. So that whole circuit is okay and operating correctly. Now here is where we get into issues, and this is why we do voltage drop testing. As you saw earlier, you know, very little uh, draw or pull on the drop on the power feed, very little on the ground feed, but now, as we go to do this test, let's go back, we'll reset and test the power source. 3.15 volts, okay. Now let's go ahead and test the ground side. Well, would you look at that? There's 3.06 volts or three volts, 70 milli volts there. We'll go on to the power side. Now, when you connect in there, look at that. There's one millivolt, 1.8 millivolts. And then let's go across the load just for the heck of it. You know, hey, there's 70, 75 millivolts. So there is some major voltage drop here. As a matter of fact, it's eating up most of the voltage in this circuit. And so, you know, if we, let's just say this is one big wire and we're running down and trying to figure it out. Well, let's see what the voltage drop is between these two points. Oh, there's nothing. It's, it's a fraction of a, a millivolt. You know, hey, we're still chasing it down. Oh, it's nothing. Look at that, Fra you know, fraction of a millivolt. Now you come across here, again, look at that, three volts. There is a three volt draw here. This resistor has become the main load of the circuit. This used to be, now this is it. In the case of uh, this particular circuit, all we gotta do is jump it to solve that problem and turn the light bulb back into the main load. But let's see here, do a little bit of testing there. And I bet you that's just because of the connectors, but let's try that one more time. Yeah, 42 millivolts, let's see, do the whole thing. 45 millivolts, you know, across the bulb here, this should be where we get all of our drop. Again, now this is back to the load again, 2.91 millivolts. So we've gone ahead and shown you here, uh, you know, what the good circuit is, what the bad circuit is. Uh, I will, and I, I do, and I know I've shown this before. I want to show it again, uh, only because of Ohm's law and we can come over here and, and actually we'll, we'll, we'll do some, some notation on this, but let's go ahead and take this and remove this. Oh, and we are going to allow the current to flow. Let's hook up some of these, these connectors. 
it, and I want to show and bring this point back only for the fact that in order to do a voltage drop test, you absolutely need current to be flowing. So if the circuit was meant to have current flowing, then that is where and how. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. So become current DC. So as you can see right now, the circuit's off. Let's turn it back on. There is there is current flowing in this circuit. And so it's three volt circuit, the light bulb's on there. Take a look at that. It is flowing through the resistor. There's point, you know, there's, what is that, 31 milliamps that we have flowing through this circuit. Now, boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. we can do a voltage drop test across this guy. So look at that. So there's three volts flowing through this resistor at 31 milliamps. You know, keep it going, three volts still. You know, it, there we go. So here's to show you Ohm's law in in action that the current is flowing we get the voltage drop so the voltage drop is 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 active